coming up, digging deep to help rare bears. I just really want to go to bed. Emotional contact with home. Don't say so, we work as a team. And growing conflict in the group. She comes next to me today, I'm going to punch her. The serious adventurers are in South America on two challenging missions to return rare bears to the wild and to get to the top of a 20,000 foot volcano higher than any team their age has ever been. Three days in and they've just faced their biggest test so far with a trek to over 13,000 feet. I'm out of breath already. Too tough. In the thin mountain air, Josh found it especially hard. No, no, no. You go, please. No, I'm not going. Nobody's leaving you behind. I move. With a superhuman effort, the whole team made it to the summit. <laughs> well done. I feel a bit sick now. Out of breath. Dehydrated. And my dad better be proud of me. At over two miles up, it's the highest they've ever been in their lives. But there's little time to celebrate. It's pretty grim up here, so I don't think we should hang around too long. <sighs> They're heading for a new camp, and it's still a couple of hours away. Although it's mainly downhill now, the team are close to exhaustion. Right. Not feeling the best at the moment, so I just want to get it over and done with now. As they battle on, the terrain gets more and more treacherous. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, can Sarah quit? Quick, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Finally, four hours after they set off, the expedition team reached their new base. Here we are at our camp. Oh, finally. Woo! Yeah! Oh, that journey, I, I think that's probably the most painful and uh, most physically challenging thing I've ever done, really. I can't believe I did it. That was a big walk. Yeah. The adventurers will be here for a week for their main project, building a huge bear enclosure. Compared to their last camp, it's positively luxurious with an inside toilet. Yeah, it's actually a lot more comfortable. You can than enjoy last your poo, don't you? Exactly. And even a shower. Well, sort of. Winch it back up again. Oh, and then oh. pull the wire. Go on, hard, hard, hard. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Camp is brilliant. As soon as we got there, it felt like home already. I'll spend my wings and I'll learn how to fly. Oh, I'm wondering how he killed me now. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know the oh, word. <laughs> I'm more relaxed now here than I was in the other camp because it's more permanent. It feels more homely kind of thing. And you never be homely coming in the wild. It's awesome. It's magical. Absolutely magical. It's a big day, the start of the bear project. At 13,000 feet, the early mornings are freezing. Oh, we need to get up now. <coughs> At this altitude, the lack of oxygen makes the slightest activity a major effort, so even the short journey up to their building site is exhausting. Yeah, I'm going to die in five minutes. I'm absolutely shattered walking up that hill. I had to stop about two times. In these extreme conditions, the team are about to be pushed to the very limit. Welcome to what is the main event of the whole expedition, and that is the construction of this bear enclosure. Set into the hillside, it'll be the last step in returning rare bears to the wild. What do you think, just looking at that, compared to, um, you know, what you've seen, the conditions that they're in at the moment? Larger, better, times. It's like heaven. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. yeah, it's like a bear's paradise. At the moment, the spectacled bears are living in cramped cages at lower altitude. The huge new Sirius Andes enclosure will help them get used to their natural conditions before release. The external perimeter is just under 90 metres. With the whole perimeter fence needing to be concreted in, it's a massive project. So are we up for it? Yeah. 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 Easy. You reckon? 
and it's a completely perfect environment for the bears. And when we get the enclosure all done up and properly done, it's going to be absolutely fantastic for them. I think it's going to be so, so hard. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to enjoy doing it. They've just a week to build the entire enclosure, and the ambitious goal for day one is to put in all the poles. Check. I meant to do that. <laughs> Don't. Oh. <sighs> they quickly realise just how tough a project they've taken on. The ground is just so hard to break through. This is going to be so, so difficult. Right, are you okay with that? A little heavy, okay. There are more than 20 posts to go in. Top left corner, all right. And local builders are on hand to advise the team. Go, 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 go. You want to be running down that hill, mate. Try and get it around the other side. They've never worked harder in their lives, and Caitlin starts to feel unwell. I've got a really bad headache every time I stand up. Uh, it's really sore. With far less oxygen than at sea level, the expedition doctors keep a close eye for signs of altitude sickness. Yeah. I'm going to do your blood pressure. Even an untreated headache could be dangerous. Probably worth trying them and see how you go, right? Working so hard at altitude is also causing tension in the team. John, just putting something over there. Look, what do you want me to do? Take the mud out, put it in the bucket. When the bucket's full, take it up there, empty the bucket, and continue. While humans struggle at this altitude, it's a spectacle bear's natural home, and the thought of returning the captive bears to the wild drives the adventurers on. You can have it nailed by half six, which is still just about light. Even Caitlin insists on lending a hand. Still a really bad headache, but an extra person and we called it up in. And just as night falls, they reach their day's target. I'm looking around and I'm seriously impressed. Yeah, we've done well. Looks but we're great. Yeah, seriously. That is brilliant for a day's work. Absolutely fantastic, so well done. Cool. First day. Good first day. Let's oh, go everybody. fishing! Let's go have some curry! <laughs> With supper on the go, Leader Ben has a surprise. We have a special treat for one person tomorrow, and that involves going off on horseback <gasps> to look at wildlife in the local area, um, and ultimately the condor nesting site further up the valley. But that person is actually going to be Matt. Birdwatcher Matt has always been desperate to see a condor. If I see it, it should be absolutely amazing, the highlight of the whole trip. Next morning, most of the team face another long day of back-breaking work. OK. Yes. It's going to be very heavy. <laughs> Who's feeling strong? <laughs> but Matt is excused building duties. For me, the Andrew and Condor would be brilliant to see. But they're really rare, and I don't know, especially in this midst, it might be quite hard to see them. Vamos. See? They have a ride of several hours into the hills to get to the nesting site. cold and wet, but apart from that, it's really good fun. It certainly beats building the enclosure, that's for sure. It's moving Why back it to move it forward up there? The task today on site is to put up the first layer of fencing. I can't lift it. But the weather is getting worse and worse. Oh, yay! Go to the Andes! Go to see some bears! Be on television! Yay! I'm cold and I'm hurting and I have to build something I don't want to build. The Condor trip is faring little better. I was really, really excited about going to see the uh, Condors. Yeah, well, let's just say that didn't happen. It was actually ice hitting into our face, ice rain. It was, it was like sleet, it was terrible cold. I can only hope that I might get a chance again. They head back to the building site where the awful weather is getting to everyone. Just doing our best at the moment to try and get everything done as quickly as we can and get out of this horrible rain. I'm absolutely cold. My fingers are swollen. They're huge in the cold. I want to go home. <laughs> you want to go home? We all do, Sarah, but we have to finish this before. Yeah, after I finish this, I'm going home. What's now? I don't want to climb a mountain. I don't want to do it. I just want to go home, man. Shut up. <laughs> 
The weather was too bad. We had to literally Absolutely start horrific. there and then come back because it was so bad. We're taking a chill. It's your turn. <laughs> Since building began, the youngest girl on the team has had even more than the tough conditions to deal with. Caitlin's a really hard worker, but she's been teased constantly about slacking off. She's just staring at the wall. She's got her head shoved in a hole. Is that Caitlin? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no wonder. <laughs> By day two, it's really starting to get to her. Okay. Come here, my sister. <laughs> Few people are making a joke about how I can only lift one stone at a time. <laughs> they kept it going, they were laughing and laughing about it, even as they saw I was upset. And who don't understand if they're hurting people. No, Matt springs to her defence. Yeah, even if you're joking, it will be hurtful. We're yeah? talking about Erin, so there's no point. Exactly, we're talking about Erin. <laughs> I don't care, but you work. It will start as a joke, but. If they're not careful, it could turn into bullying, and it's not fair that uh, she can't enjoy herself like the rest of us. I'll tell you what, Caitlin cooks, Caitlin cleans. <laughs> it actually it quite obvious that it hurt me a bit, so hopefully they'll just sort of step off a bit. And if they don't, I'll probably just have to keep out their way. The team battle on for eight hours in the icy rain, and by the end of the day, they're completely fed up with the building project. Today has got to be one of the worst days of my life. Got to do it again tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And it's really not going to be nice. I'm not looking forward to it. <sighs> 6.30am, day three. It's just so tired. I just need to lay in. And if the team think the building work's been tough so far, they're in for a very unpleasant surprise. Today is concrete day. There's about six tonnes of sand and gravel. No. That is all going to get used to fill in those trenches to solidify this enclosure. Oh, oh my goodness. They think we're machines. We're not machines. We're human beings. It'll take about a thousand buckets of concrete to fill in all the trenches, and they've got just two days to do it. Oh, is that all we've done? It takes ages, and a bucket of cement on the fills at that quarter. Oh, dear. To add to their worries, the long days of hard labour are starting to take their toll. I've got blisters all over my hands, and it's really hurting when I'm using a spade. <laughs> in the stressful conditions, tempers begin to fray once more. Come on, mate, please. No! Stop working to your own agenda. We're a team. We work as a team. So it's not looking great. At this rate, it's going to be about another 50 hours of work. With morale at a serious low, the leaders call an early lunch. They've arranged for a surprise delivery. It's a present for you guys. Cement. <laughs> Cement, yeah. <laughs> Mucho gracias. <laughs> I hope it's food. It's quite sheepskin's cool, isn't it? It's food. That is from home. Oh, <laughs> After a week cut off from civilization, they've each got a package from home. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love my cat! I love my cat! <laughs> I think you really ought to have a look at these. The female following is nice. <laughs> right, 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 right. She's hot. <laughs> the adventurers also have messages from their families, and they trigger strong emotions. Oh, I, oh, I miss them so much. I when I read the letter from them, I got really emotional. I'm really missing them. I didn't actually miss anyone till now. You're only as big as the dreams you dare to live. Oh. <laughs> I that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I did, I told myself I was never going to cry. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. I just made a rock fool of myself. Nah, mate, no, it's all right. Yeah. Seeing the letter and that, it just hit me so hard. Mixed emotions. Great to hear from my dad. But now all I'm going to be able to think about is my dad. 
it was really nice to get those parcels and see how proud they are of me and how much they miss me. They're still thinking of me. It's kind of a strange emotion, really. Early afternoon and it's back to the grindstone. The weather's the best it's been all trip, which is especially good news for Matt. He's off again to try to spot Andy and condors, the world's largest birds of prey. They live high up in the mountains and are extremely rare. Ben and Matt have come to an area where there are nests in the rock face. Few people have ever seen one in the wild, but today Matt is in luck. Do you see where the line of clouds breaks? Yeah. You see it? It's on top of the hill. Wow, look at that. Wow. The huge bird's wings are over three metres from end to end, around twice Matt's height. Today I got to see an awesome, awesome Andean condor. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They're massive, they're so majestic. They can't even flap because they just go on the wind. Just the way the wings are just, yeah. just tipped up at the end. It's just, look at that, it's just going up in the thermal doing nothing. That is so cool. We could see them so, so well. You could see all their features. It was just amazing. Back at the building site, the team are finding it hard to concentrate on the job in hand. <laughs> Oh, you got me, man. Safe. <laughs> They're getting seriously behind schedule, and when Ben returns, he decides it's time for a pet talk. It's four o'clock. We have actually covered two metres since lunchtime. Two metres. Yeah. We were aiming to have half the enclosure done. That was 50 metres. But you're going to have to literally start putting all your energy into it and running about with buckets. If you put loads and loads of energy into it, you're just going to get tired and we're going to want to break. But it's a head thing. It's like walking up a hill. The team labour on into the darkness, but Sarah's had enough. She decides to give up. There you go. I'm not stopping it. Sarah, please. Everyone else is tired. You're doing a good job, or you were doing a good job. Well, I'm not doing anything, so I don't want Time to do it. Go faster. I can't be bothered. I think we need one more mix, guys. No! I can't bother. I wish I never applied. I want to go home. I think we're all actually home. thinking that, Sarah. I don't care about anyone else, I care about myself. Sarah, if you help, then we'll get to go even faster, okay? Okay, you not talk to me, because I will just go mad at you. Sarah, we really need you to work at the moment, all right? I know that you're tired and everyone else is tired. The rest of the team want you to stay, and at the moment you're letting them down. I don't care, I don't care anymore. I'm sure you do, deep down. Buckets! 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 Sarah, Over! Even with Sarah mucking in again, it's 11pm before they reach their target, concreting half the enclosure. Yeah! The last one, just gone in. Let's go home. Excellent. I have gone off with the idea of saving bears. Can't bother. They should stay where they are. Next day, they've got it all to do again. They're desperate to finish the concreting by nightfall, but they're shattered. Everyone's feeling absolutely terrible at the moment. And I just really just want to get it over and done with. No one's got any more energy to keep shoveling and everybody's grumpy and shouting at each other. It's just not fun anymore. Like you anymore. kicked it back down! I'm holding it! I didn't kick it! The adventurers advance slowly towards their day's goal, mixing endless heavy buckets of concrete and forming chains to get them around the site. <laughs> but splits in the team are growing. Sarah is taking out a lot of her frustrations on Caitlin. I really do need one more person to wear from the top row, you know. I love the way she said nothing to you to move up. That girl is unbelievable. Sarah and Caitlin have had a bit of a bust up. Caitlin asked Sarah to move up the line a bit and Sarah just blew up at her. She could never be wrong. 
I do like her. She's oh, she's getting me mad, you know. It was quite reasonable. I just asked her to move down a bit. I think I asked her twice. The first time she completely blanked me. And she started shouting. But I don't hear her complaining to her telling Will to go back. She must want to argue with me. If she wants to argue with me, then we can go. It drives me insane. It's the first week. I uh, don't think it's a very good start. No. Tension. You can cut it with a knife. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Before long, the situation takes a more serious turn. I just don't like her. If she comes next to me today, I'm going to punch her. After all the teasing of Caitlin earlier in the week, Sarah's threat is the final straw. You should have been talking to me. I just, I tried to give her back up some pen. She's, I'm not talking to you. She won't even try and speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> we have to sort it out. We have to sort it out now before it gets even worse. I tried this week you know, to get along with her, yeah, but I'm not. I don't like her. I just like to know what I've done to offend her. I don't actually. Mm. I, I don't have a clue what, I, what she thinks, seems to think I've done. What's the next stage? You're going to hit her? Is that the next thing? I don't know. I don't know. You've thought about it. It's going through your mind. Yeah. I can see it. Exactly. I can't have that. I can't have that. Yeah. So we've got to sort this situation out, right? Guys, can we stop what we're doing now? Can you stick some warm kit on and I, we both, Polly and I, want to have a talk to you as a group? Yeah. Sit yourself down. What I want to talk to you about is actually quite serious. And there's been some fairly malicious remarks going on. So that's got to stop. All right. It's got to stop right now. I want to know what this issue is between Sarah and Caitlin. All right. And Sarah, I want you to start me off. One, I think you lie a lot to fit in with everybody else, but that's the wrong way to do it. Two, like, certain things I would do, and you would tell me, oh, don't do that, blah, blah, blah. but then if someone else goes and does it, you would just say, OK, it's cool, like. OK, then. I don't think I've lied to fit in once, and um, when I think the example you're thinking of when I said was that I was asking you to move along the fence a little bit, after, after you sort of snapped to me, I just couldn't be bothered anymore. It's not only Sarah that's doing it. Yeah. I admit it's all of us. But the thing is, sometimes when you tell some stories, I just think they're all lies. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think you're trying to fit in with us because you're the youngest out of the girls. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not lying to fit in, but yeah, of course I'm trying to fit in. It's not easy. You don't lie to try and fit I in. I just said I didn't lie to fit in. I just said that. Bed up. I'm seeing one very unhappy person, and that's terrible. That's awful. And there has to be give and take from all parties. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Ben, you can say that, and I can say, yeah, whatever, I'll forget about it, but the fact is, I don't like her. It's not right, because it's ruining both of your expedition. Can I say something? It's not ruining, man, because then one person, me not talking to one person, I don't care, there's plenty of people. Yeah, but the thing is... It's hard for the group, as well as just for you two. If you got along with her, it'd be much more pleasant for the both of you, and, and for the rest, for the rest of, the group. of the group. Yeah. Exactly. At the beginning, I was joining in when I, th when I thought it was only a joke, but when I found it was going too far, I did pull out. Can you apologise as well? well? I know, Kayleen, before I've, I've said stuff, and I'll, I'll, I'll apologise. Okay. Sarah, do you respect what everyone said? Let's have a clean sweep, and I'm asking you to be civil. That's Sorry, all I'm Caitlin. asking. That's all, that's all I'm asking. You don't want none oh. of you lot to stay, yeah? yeah. Not you don't have to be nice to her, you just have to be polite. Everything I said, I meant. Everything I've done, I meant. We've established that. You know, if everyone else here is willing to make a compromise, and Sarah at the moment is not, and I don't think that's too much to ask. Just be polite, that's all. Just be nice. If you don't so like old. someone, you're not going to be nice to But, sir, we were going to have to learn that you cannot go through life with that attitude. That's me as a person. I don't care, innit? But deep down, I think that you're, you're absolutely wrong because you're not allowing yourself to care, that you've got this big, macho, kind of, I'm a hard girl from a hard estate in the middle of London. Well, I'm sorry, I don't see that. Yeah? yeah, I actually see quite a vulnerable person underneath all that, and I see it actually as a show. Yeah. You feel that Caitlin's done wrong by you, and I'm asking you for the sake of the expedition and the group to let it go. Uh -huh. Sarah, if you think I've done anything wrong, I'm really sorry for it. We're not going anywhere until this is resolved, guys, because if we go from here back to the bear enclosure, yeah, oh, it's just going to get worse and worse. I've tried to get along with it. This is not working. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <gasps> I'm going to go madness. It's all right. It's all right. 
all he's trying to ask you is if you can be civil to each other for the rest of the group and until this trip's over. That's all they are asking you, Sarah. Sarah? Whatever. Say yes. Just say yes, yes Sarah. Say yes. Yes, sir. Yes. No, yes. yes. We have a yes, people. We have a yes. Oh. Right. We need to get mixed. Yeah. Oh, no. The long discussion has scuffered all hope of an early night. We need to get the chain ready. The concreting must still be finished today to keep the project on track. Talk had happened, but it has put us horribly behind schedule. At this rate, we're going to be working so late. Let's keep moving, moving, moving. Let's keep moving. No! <laughs> the team atmosphere is much improved following the talk. I said I'll be civilised with her for the sake of the group. I still don't like her. What's going to make the work even harder if there's friction in the group? I was quite upset with the thing that Sarah, but it has cleared the air because she seems less um, annoyed. By 9pm, the team are on their last legs and very cold. Really I think I've actually got frostbite. Yeah, well, if you we did some of this, and we, we I've been doing some of this. <laughs> I'm not in the best mood at the moment. I just really want to go to bed. Oh, I'm just so tired, and it's just making me feel sick. We're going to need another full dry mix through here, Paul. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Sake. guys, but it just needs one more mix to finish well, it off. We can do it. No, that's fun. It shouldn't take you long if you all muck in. And with the end of the dreaded concreting finally in sight, the team somehow summon up a final burst of energy. <laughs> I love it, that one. Uh, right, okay. Good job, guys. Yeah, really good job. We finished. I reckon we might just about have cracked it. The concrete is completely finished. Yay! I think you've heard a lion, yeah? Working in almost impossible conditions, they've completed over half the enclosure in just four days. Their award is a welcome trip away while the concrete sets. But before they go, they head up to see what they've done so far. <sighs> We're super people. <laughs> wow, that's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent. I don't think we've done this much, you know. Up here you can actually appreciate how much work you've done, and it really is taken shape. We've done a lot over the past couple of days, especially for our uh, eight kids. There's a sense of achievement and a sense of pride. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Serious Andes, a helping hand for endangered bears. They're so heavy. Careless in the extreme. You ain't going to be going up any mountain if you continue with this. And more bittersweet reminders of home. I really miss them so much. Oh.